Good morning. This is Adam Wise of Android Technology, an Oxford Instruments company. And in this short video, I'd like to show you the value of SCMOS global shuttering for capturing fast events, either during imaging or spectroscopy. Here is specifically with a fast moving object. I've got a Xyla 5.5 USB going, one of our SCMOS cameras that has both global and rolling shutter readout modes. I'll link to the spec sheet here. I'll start with rolling shutter, which gives the fastest frame rate overall. So you can see I've got a fast moving object on my table. It's a, an object being spun by a Dremel at about 5,000 RPM. You can't actually see what it is because of quite significant motion blur. Within the exposure time, the object is moving so much that it blurs out quite a bit. So if I reduce the exposure time to actually try to see what it is, I'll go from 10 milliseconds to one millisecond. So I can start to see something, but instead of motion blur, now I'm getting rolling shutter distortion. And I'll link to our app note that discusses that here. So I can start to see something, but within one exposure, because these rows in rolling shutter mode are reading out one, two, three, four, I'm capturing sl slightly different pieces of time with each row. So I can reduce, go to an even smaller exposure time. I'll go to 10th of a millisecond. And it becomes even clearer. I can see sharp edges, but I still have quite a bit of rolling shutter distortion. You can see that's not really the object that I'm trying to see. I can't, I can't quite identify it. So I can get rid of this temporal distortion by switching to global shutter mode, where all of the rows of the camera will expose at the same time. And I can do that just with this pull down switch here and go from rolling to global shutter mode. Now, when I take video, it's all of the exact same slice of time, and I can see the object spinning around on my desk is in the shape of a maple leaf. So if you have any questions about global shuttering versus rolling shuttering, and this is only one tiny part of the picture, feel free to send me an email at a.wise at andor.com or visit the Andor website for more information. And otherwise, have a good rest of your day.